Okay, now we're getting to the important part here. Uh, we're going to start mixing this dough up by hand. It's still pretty sticky. And uh, as soon as I put this camera down, I'll use the other hand as well. Uh, one thing I really find you've got to watch out for is this uh, loose flour over in the corners. You've got to make sure you keep uh, working and kneading the dough and making sure you get everything all mixed in. So we want uh, no flour left, left behind. Uh, this whole procedure is supposed to be easy and that you don't have a whole lot of cleanup. And, uh, and I suppose we could leave flour behind if we were going to... Uh, uh, maybe do it on a, a rolling board or something like that, but uh, seeing as I prefer to keep just the, the one pot on the go here, uh, we were pretty well stuck with having to knead the, the dough entirely in the pot. Anyway, we'll uh, take this video up a little later on in the day uh, when this rises, and uh, we'll see how this uh, particular batch of uh, Saturday morning man bread turns out. All right, God bless. Uh, see you a little later in the day. Okay, it's a little tricky to do this with one hand, but you can see uh, uh, where we're at now with this kneading process. Where we have all the loose flour all gathered up from the uh, from the bottom, and uh, the dough is uh, sticking to itself quite uh, quite nicely, and it doesn't tend to want to stick to your hands anymore. When you get to this spot here, then we just need to uh, just pat it down so it fills the bottom of the container, uh, that big 13 quart, uh, what's called a Dutch oven, and we're just going to push that down nicely, and we're going to leave that uh, for several hours, I'm guessing uh, four or five hours anyway, and uh, we're going to let that rise until it's, uh, until it's ready to be taken out for the second rise, and uh, it's kind of nice if you can catch it before it sort of starts to collapse. I suppose if you want the nicest looking bread, uh, you'd like to have it so it rises uh, instead of uh, when this particular pot is filled, it'll be oh very, very close to the top within maybe a couple of inches. But uh, if we can catch it just before that so the edge is sort of rounded up, then uh, that'll give us a good second rise and we'll get some really, really big loaves. But even if it gets beyond that point and you don't get back to your bread till later in the day, you can literally let this stuff rise all day because it's just going to increase in flavor. It may not be quite, uh, the loaves may not be quite as high, but they'll be nonetheless very, very, very flavorful. So either way, you're going to have a winner. It's kind of uh, nice to look at the bread uh, and enjoy it if it's really tall and really, it's more fluffy that way, but uh, you're going to get good bread either way. Okay, so we're just going to smooth that out, give that all, let that all set up for a good rise. And of course, uh, today, oftentimes I'll put in uh, two teaspoons of fast rising yeast, but today I only put in one because uh, I've been finding lately it's been rising a little too quick for my liking. Uh, so I just put in one today, and uh, I'm still convinced that uh, time I got back here around one or two, this. Uh, this bread will be well on its way. So, anyway, we shall see you, God willing, early this afternoon. And right now it's a little bit after 8 in the morning, so uh, I'm planning a rise of about 4, 5 hours minimum. And we'll see what kind of shape it is at, uh, at 1 or 2 or whenever I get back home. All right, so what we're going to be doing here, we're just going to cover this up. And, uh, and uh, I just like to kind of start things off by just warming up the oven. I'm going to just turn that on for, uh, we'll say about 15 seconds. That's just going to produce some heat in that oven just to kind of get things started. And uh, we don't want it too hot, just like we didn't want the water too hot. Uh, the water that we put in here is only supposed to be uh, uh, warm to the touch, about as warm as you could stand a, a bath. If you think of your yeast as a, as a living thing, uh, it doesn't want to get scalded any more than you do. So the next thing is we're going to turn the light on in the stove and that's going to act as our source of heat during the day. We don't need much but uh, there's just a little light bulb on there and that's going to be the source of heat. And this particular pot is so big 
that the, uh, the other oven racks have to come out. You can only sit on the lower one. And I have to remember that uh, when I go to put the lows in, I need to put the second rack back in here because uh, uh, that's why the, the lows will get the best centering in the oven when they cook. All right, well, we're going to leave it here, and uh, we'll be back later in the day to see how the, uh, how the Saturday morning man bread is going to make out. All right, uh, Paul Blackmore signing off for the moment, and uh, God bless until later in the day. Okay, well here we are, it's uh, 2 o'clock, so about uh, 6 hours since I first put the uh, bread to rise, and that's what I would call a full rise. I was hoping maybe to catch it uh, a little before this, but uh, that, is, that is a complete full rise. But it hasn't started to fall yet, so that's probably about a 90 or a 95% uh, rise, and uh, so the likelihood of us getting a good uh, high loaf uh, out of this batch is really good. All right, so uh, we will we'll take a look again at what it looks like when it's in the when it's in the pans. Okay, so now the dough has been uh, retrieved from the uh, thirteen quart uh, uh, Dutch oven, uh, the big mixing bowl thing, and uh, each of the uh, bread pans have been uh, sprayed thoroughly with this. Uh, Pam original uh, non-stick spray uh, and after uh, divvying up the uh, dough uh, this is what it looks like when it's in the, in the bread pans and I find sometimes when you want to uh, even up the dough uh, take a little bit of uh, dough from the underside of uh, uh, the biggest loaf and put it into the underside of one of the uh, loaves that might be a little less uh, a less full and then uh, after doing that you can turn over all the lows and they'll have the, some of that greasy uh, Pam stuff on them and uh, flip them upside down and that way uh, the top smooth out pretty good and so when these uh, rise up in the oven it could be as soon as an hour then uh, they will uh, they'll be nice should be nice and uniform and anyway so we'll uh, stop there and uh, we'll put these into the uh, into the oven and that would be uh, after I put that uh, medium rack back in and uh, we'll see if they look like in about an hour's time Okay, here we are the bread's been on its second rise now for uh, almost one hour and uh, I dare not let it really rise much more than that because we're going to end up getting a whole bunch of big uh, air bubbles uh, in the bread which we don't want so once I turn the heat on it'll of course rise more and it'll uh, it'll cook so I think we're just about ready to uh, turn the oven on we're gonna go up to 375 here okay there we are 375 and we're gonna set the timer for 25 minutes One, two, three, four, five. okay now uh, Every oven is a little bit different, but uh, uh, I think we should be good here at 25 minutes at uh, 375 degrees. We'll uh, come back and see what it looks like in 25 minutes. Okay, the warning has just gone off. Uh, we've got uh, one minute left to go uh, before we take the bread out. So uh, this will be quite the exciting moment. We'll see what's uh, just how things have, have gone. And uh, I forgot to mention uh, during the last little uh, video clip was when you're putting the bread uh, when you're putting the bread into the uh, bread pans you need to uh, butter up your hands first because that'll keep it from uh, from sticking and uh, when you're getting the bread out of course it's quite handy to have one of these uh, we've just got the uh, we've just got the one but uh, uh, of course you want to get it out without burning your hands so anyway Quite anxious to see how things are going to turn out. Uh, just be another few seconds, and uh, we'll have the uh, have the, the bread out. There it is. All right. So we're going to turn the timer off, turn the oven off, and we're going to take a look at how it turned out. Wow. All right. That's that's about as close to perfection as uh, 
as we get with this. All right. Uh, well, we'll give you another clip here uh, when we get it out and uh, get it uh, buttered because that keeps the uh, crust nice and soft. And uh, we'll slice off a slice or two and just uh, talk about the texture of the bread when we uh, take it to the next level. So. Okay, uh, these loaves are going to be able to cool on a rack, but uh, before that happens, we've got to pop them out of the uh, pop them out of the bread pans, and that's what they look like underneath. Again, if they're properly centered in the uh, if they're properly centered in the oven, they should be nice and evenly browned. And again, that uh, Pam is great stuff. It keeps it from uh, keeps it from sticking. Anyway, I'm real real happy with these loaves. Can't say they turn out quite this good every time, but uh, those are good solid loaves. They're not uh, they're not going to get weak and collapse. And uh, anyway, next step we'll be uh, cutting them up. Action. Okay, here we are. Uh, so this is Paul Blackmore. We're about ready to. Check the old uh, bread to see if it turned out actually okay. So, uh, Tim, if you want to just swing this down and get a shot here of the bread, uh, that's been cooling for about uh, that's been cooling for probably 20 minutes. Normally, I'd like to let it cool a little longer. Okay, so that's the texture of the bread we've got, and uh, I like bread with lots of taste. It's got some texture, makes great toast, but we're just going to check out for sure. We're just going to take a quick little bite here right now. I'm going to put some real butter, and that's the one of the other nice things I like about this bread. There's no preservatives. There's absolutely no sugar. It's all natural stuff. You saw everything that went in there, and uh, we're just going to give this a test right now to see if this Saturday morning man bread is really as good as it's been made out to be. Mm, mm, mm. It is. It really is. Anyway, this is Paul Blackmore saying so long and uh, really enjoyed this uh, little uh, movie making experience this Saturday and I hope you uh, you guys out there uh, want to take a chance and uh, make some man bread also. Alright, God bless. Until next time.